Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Jay Holloway. Happy July. But before we start with the new month, we must go back to last week. Now, there is a theme to last week's fragrances, and that is clearing these holes out. So everything that you see here is going to be classified as an empty. They had to go. I had to make room for some new stuff. You know, like I say, typically one out, 15 in, but not really, but really. So let's go ahead and start. So Monday, I went with Chanel in the daytime. You know, the sentiment behind this. This is definitely going to be a repurchase, so I'm not worried. I enjoyed this. I'm probably going to do the EDP the next time. So, re-up pending. And then my beloved Nuda Veritas. The vacation with white sand on the feet, sun, wide brim hat. The deliciousness that is this is finally gone. So, I enjoyed this beautiful scent. That was Monday. Tuesday, it was time to go ahead and finish her off. So in the morning and evening, I wore Aqua de Parma's Camellia. Considering that the temperature is always on hell, this was perfect. Nice, sunny, light, crisp, and clean. A beautiful scent. I think they have discontinued this one, but if you can find it, definitely worth having in your collection. That was Tuesday. Wednesday... Good old Tom Ford Beau De Jour. This is the re-released version from the private collection. If there is a minimalist man or male presenting figure in your life, get them this fragrance. This is the quintessential gentleman, beautiful, masculine. I really enjoyed this. This is a perfect scent. And then... I went with Father Figure in the evening. This one is cute by Fleur. Oh, everything else now is about to be a Fleur travel spray. This is really nice. I don't think I would buy a full bottle after wearing it. I do like it. And when it comes to a fig, you know, give me um, Balad Sauvage by Dior or Philosophos by Diptyque. But this was cute. So that was our... Wednesday. Thursday, I'm trying to think of what I had planned. Um, I feel like I might have gone to the doctor. Maybe? I don't know. No. Child, I don't know. Anyway, we started off the day with Not Your Baby. A nice, clean, fresh scent. Smells very, very nice. Then... I went with Missing Person for the second half of the day. So I wore these in like, you know, my work shift, like before lunch, after lunch, or what have you. Then in the evening, we went with Sundara. I really enjoyed this, but I think this one's being discontinued too. But yes, that was... Thursday, Friday, Apricot Privé, nice, fruity, real, real pleasant. And I wish I had the Jackie Ina fragrance, um, the clear one. So I wanted to layer that, but she's gone and they haven't restocked. So I can't wait. So then, also what's not here is I went out to be grown and I had pink sugar. So you already know what that's given. So Saturday, woke up, got ready. And what I wore was Lost Cause during the day. This was such a nice scent, kind of masculine leaning. I really enjoyed it. 
And then towards that evening, I went with Floria. This is definitely being discontinued because they're discounting that to hell. But it's like a very, very beautiful white floral scent. And then, whoop, these are about to roll. Oh, Lord, don't roll. Okay. For Sunday, ah, we went with Strawberry Letter. After wearing this, I have come to the conclusion that this is enough for me. I don't have to have a full bottle, and I'm all right with that. But, yes, this tray is empty, and I have to clean this surface. Dusty. But, yeah, these were my fragrances from last week. All empties, and you will see them again in an empties video. But, please like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. Turn that notification bell on to all, and stay tuned for more scented content. Bye!